Hello, what is TBA program? TBA program is a 50 hours course training uh, included into osteopathic medicine, scope of practice. And it has been designed for uh, PTs, MDs, uh, for chiropractors and osteopaths. What does TBA mean? TBA means um, total body adjustment. Historically, in the 90s, uh, these modalities was about uh, GOT, means uh, General Osteopathic Treatment. Um, that concept is from UK. What about GOT? So, GOT, to be a little bit more clear, it's about classical osteopathy and John Wernham, again in UK, and it was based at that time on passive mobilization through a routine apply on the muscles and joints. What could you say about TBA program for the audience? So, just to go back a little bit previously, that global uh, treatment is an holistic treatment and is based on an evaluation, a global evaluation, then a physical assessment, and then in the meantime, almost, uh, it will lead to um, an initial osteopathic treatment. So that treatment is focused on the musculoskeletal system and above, like uh, the posture, like um, the peripheral nervous system, autonomic nervous system, blood circulation, um, what else, uh, internal organs. So, TBA by extension today is an holistic program uh, based on osteopathic modalities, including uh, soft tissue techniques, including um, MET, which means uh, muscle energy techniques, and of course, uh, HVT techniques, which are the high velocity first techniques. And these are all reinforced capabilities for the practitioner to manage a musculoskeletal and posture disorder and to get a more accurate uh, osteopathic clinical reasoning, even to be more precise into specific osteopathic diagnosis. Thank you. Okay, I'm starting. Okay, so now if we move with a patient and we want to apply a TPA uh, assessment, the meaning for me is to figure out how it works with the foundation of the patient, which means the pelvis, and how it works with the spine, which is upon the pelvis and the sacral. So basically I will start from that point, check the pelvis and look at the spine first. Do you mind uh, stand up please? Basically, what I try to explain to you with TBA, it's the meaning is to get that clinical reasoning and that way of thinking gradually. As soon as you you will follow us during the, the TBA class, and you will understand how we proceed to get some analysis of the biomechanics of the body. It seems like very simple at the beginning, but in fact, it's not. Why? Because there is a lot of there is a lot of uh, different situation in the real life. So we need to get information of that body here and try to understand the way it works. Really, the meaning is not to change everything. The meaning is to find where to push on the right button. If there is any pain somewhere into the body, again, the meaning for me is not to focus on that pain. This is not the purpose. Pain is just a signal. And the meaning for me is not to pay too much attention to that signal, but to understand where that signal is coming from. For example, this is the light here. Do I have to touch the light to switch off the light? No. no. I will focus on here. The button is here. So here, this is the right button to switch off the light. Okay. 
that's the meaning with the body. We need to find each time the right button to switch off some issue, some okay. signal. That's the main thing. We go to the root cause first. So here, I'm, I'm observing that patient for the very first time. He's one of my students, but I, I never assessed him before. So today, I, I will discover that body and looking at how it looks like. Maybe you can open a little bit the button in the front. Yeah. And then we can see here the pelvis and we can see here the stump. So again, first, let's take some observation first. What do we see here? What we do see, you see that probably you can see that the pelvis is a little bit tilted to the right. When you look at the surface over there, and when you look at the surface over there, they are not on the same line. The pelvis is still like this. So what's going to happen then on the spine? Probably the spine will accommodate the situation with the pelvis. That's the way it works usually. So here, the spine is in the middle. The foundation with the pelvis are here. Look here at the two folds here. The two holes are almost different there. Here, it's a bit more regular. And then here, we can see here, there is a kind of a shape between the latissimus dorsi muscle over there and here with the waist. So there is a kind of a shape over there which is not the same here. So we can see that the body moving like this with the pelvis, the lumbar spine probably move a little bit into a side bending to the left already. So I'm pretty sure that if I'm checking the lumbar spine more precisely one by one uh, on the vertebrae, I will find maybe probably some posteriority on the left side. And then if I keep moving up, up and up, I will see here, you can see that the head, the neck is a little bit bent, side bent on the right. And you can see also probably that the head is a little bit rotated also to the right. And then here, if you look at the level of the heel, you can see that the right ear is a little bit down compared to the other one. So there is a lot of details, a lot of details of the body you need to catch. It. And then with your clinical reasoning, when, with your background into anatomy, into physiology, into biomechanics, you try to set up everything in the modelization and try to integrate everything in one body, the body of the patient. So one principle again, osteopathy is not about bone adjustment, it's about body adjustment. So you can see the difference between the left side and the right side. Actually she's limited here compared to that one. Here she looks almost like a, maybe let's say 10 degrees of moving into full extension, right? This is your maximum to the right side? Yeah, see. There is pain at the moment? Yes. Okay, release your arms. Okay, now you're going to put your left hand behind your head. Okay, release your hand. Now put your hand behind your back, the left one. Behind, behind. Yes, like this. Okay, this. Now you do the same with the right hand. Put your hand on your head. Okay, now put your hand on your back. You see that one? The internal rotation with the shoulder is limited.
Sure. Just swing on the left side. 